Good morning guys and happy Monday and welcome back to another weekly vlog. Of course today is Memorial Day hence the reason I'm just wearing this little dress which I've just been dying to try this dress on and I am really liking it. I think that it is so cute. This was one that I picked up in my last grocery haul video that had like all of the hauls in it. I can't remember where I got this one. I think either Marshalls or TJ Maxx but anyway it was $20 it's a lucky brand and I don't know I just think it's super cute I will be changing here in a little while into my bathing suit and stuff but I wanted to start the day off in some actual clothes and try this dress on and I love it so today of course will be a little bit of vlogging around the house and I will share my food and stuff I have already eaten my breakfast this morning because since I slept in a little bit I did get up and I got my workout in so I was happy about that um let's see what else did I do I got ready but like in between like getting ready and putting my makeup and stuff on I was starving I did prep my breakfast for today so that I didn't have to worry about cooking it so I just heated it up and ate it real quick but anyway let me turn you around here now I'm gonna head to the kitchen because I need to make my greens BCAAs and gut love mixture because y'all I did not make it all weekend and my digestion has really suffered. I have hardly been able to go to the bathroom. So I figured we would just make it real quick. This is the new Gut Love from Timmy. Um, it's a probiotic and prebiotic powder. And then of course I have my greens. Sorry, I should have already got this out, but I didn't. I'm going to have to order some more of this because it is almost empty at this point. But this is matcha spirulina wheatgrass. I know I've told you all about it. But these both combined really do help with my digestion. And kind of keeps me going to the bathroom if you know what I mean. Because this weekend I've been a little uh, backed up to say the least. And then of course I like to have my BCAAs. Which this one's almost empty too. It's like everything runs out at the same time. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to try this brand again. I like it. I like the flavor it's watermelon but i know pe science has some bcaas and i might try those i'm going to jump on amazon and see what i can find but i really do love the watermelon flavor and these uh combined really make a good mixture you know you can add these into um any drink this one says to kind of drink with a meal which i just ate my breakfast so i'm just gonna sip on this all together this one you can add into smoothies you can drink it plain with water which i have done and it really just tastes like green tea to me um this one doesn't have a very strong flavor it says it's triple berry flavored but to me it's not that strong of a flavor so it just kind of blends in well and i really don't taste it that much the watermelon bcaas of course that has a really good flavor and I don't know those three combined is just like the perfect combination for me so um, I'm gonna grab my blender bottle cup and we are gonna mix it up and now I do like to use these blender bottle cups just because since I'm mixing all three things together I do like a little bit more water than what will fit in my teamy cup plus this just makes it easy to shake up I don't have to get out my little hand mixer or whatever so anyway you can do this or you can use the little immersion blender or whatever it's called I've done both um, this is just easy I do like to drink it out of a straw uh just because it's such a green color and i don't want it dripping on anything although today i am wearing green so it wouldn't really matter but whenever i go to work you know i don't want it dripping on my clothes or anything and i'm not necessarily uh the neatest person sometimes there could be a little drop especially if you're shaking it and opening it and closing this lid or something it will kind of get on the lid a little bit so i do like to pop a straw in here and drink it but let me get some water in my cup so I like to fill it about that far up with water and then I'm going to just add all three in and then I do like to top it with some ice because I like to have it cold and I'm just going to go in with the gut love. I'm going to do a scoop of that. It smells really good. It does smell like triple berry like it says. I'm going to go ahead and do a scoop of these BCAAs. I definitely have to order some more today because I only have enough for a couple of days. Y'all know I do these because of my leg cramps. And that's the main reason this just helps with muscle recovery and it does help the leg cramps and i have tried the pickle juice i have not yet tried the mustard that people have suggested uh, and then i'm going to go in with a scoop of my greens powder as well which see i gotta like stick my hand way down in here i saved this one for last just because it's so green i don't want to like get it down inside my other containers it wasn't really a full scoop put a little bit more and see how green that is <laughs> 
But anyway, at this point, I'm just gonna shake it up real good and then we're gonna add some ice and grab a straw. And it really doesn't take that much to mix it. It's probably mixed pretty well right now. Okay guys, and there it is. It's that simple. I'm gonna get in a full serving of vegetables with my greens and my gut love, my prebiotic and probiotic. I do actually still take another probiotic every day. Y'all know I take a lot of supplements and stuff and a probiotic is something that I've always taken. I've never actually done a prebiotic, but um, I definitely can tell this keeps my system moving a little bit better and I did not drink this Saturday or Sunday and yesterday I could definitely tell like I could not go to the bathroom. We are drinking it today. So cheers. I'm going to enjoy this and then I will check back in with y'all probably whenever I make my turkey burgers. I'm going to show y'all how I do it with the, it's two ingredients. It's 99% lean ground turkey and then the Mrs. Dash uh, tomato basil garlic seasoning. And so simple to make. Charlie's going to grill those up for me. It will make four of them. I will eat one today and then I will freeze the other three. That worked out perfectly because he did that a couple of weeks ago. And we just froze them like in individual bags. And then on Saturdays, I love to make like that little TikTok wrap using one of those and then have my sweet potato fries with it i probably will make some sweet potato fries today i'm not gonna like go all out because it is memorial day i've, I've already had my treat day on saturday so i'm not gonna like go all out and just eat whatever but i'm gonna have uh my turkey burger uh charlie's actually at aldi to see if he can find some of those keto buns that somebody posted in my facebook group that they found that are one point each so i definitely share that with you once he gets back uh and if he doesn't find those then i will just use one of my wraps but I thought, you know, then that way I don't have to like toast it up and get all that stuff out. I can just make it like a normal burger uh, and still have one point for the bread and then one point for my slice of cheese. And then I'm going to do a serving of my sweet potato fries, which I will weigh those out on Saturdays. I typically don't. I just throw in whatever I think I want to eat. But I will weigh out whatever the serving size is, and that is four points for those sweet potato fries. And then I have a big bowl of fruit. Um, my fruit's really going to look good this week because we got some watermelon. I got a cantaloupe, pineapple, blueberries. Uh, it looks delicious. I can't wait to try my first one. Today will be my first one from what I prepped yesterday. So anyway, I'm going to drink this, and I will check back in once we are making some turkey burgers. Okay guys, I'm gonna make my turkey burgers real quick and there's two ingredients. This is 99% lean ground turkey breast from Publix. And then I'm gonna use some of this Mrs. Dash tomato basil garlic seasoning. Hopefully that is focusing, but that's all that I'm gonna put in there and they are very tasty and have a lot of flavor. So let me just tilt you down. This won't take two seconds. I am gonna try to measure and see how much Mrs. Dash that I use because I just always kind of wing it. But I know some people always want a specific uh, quantity of spices and stuff or something. So we'll see what I use. I'm going to start with probably a couple of tablespoons. So I got my tablespoon. We're going to start with a tablespoon and see what that looks like. See, I think it definitely will need two tablespoons. Which might seem like a lot of seasoning. But... You can, of course, season as much or as little as you want to. Yeah, I think the two tablespoons is just about perfect. I mean, you want enough seasoning in there that it gives it some flavor because the turkey does not have very much flavor. Um, okay, my battery's gonna die, so I'm gonna swap that out real quick and we'll get these padded out, which I am gonna use this little thing and I'm just gonna measure out four ounces into each one and it will make the perfect little turkey patty. All right, so we have a new battery. Yeah, I have it mixed up here. I think that it looks pretty good. So two tablespoons, I think is perfect. I'm gonna spray this with olive oil spray on both sides because the last time I tried to make it, they were pretty sticky and kind of hard to get out of here. Um, and I do have a paper towel on my scale just because this has holes in it. That way it doesn't get too um, messy even though I know I can clean it off. So I'm just going to put it on ounces and measure out four ounces for each one of these. There we go, that's four ounces exactly on that one. I'm just gonna spread it out there a little bit and then just kind of mash it with this. And voila, I have a turkey patty. It's that simple. I'm just gonna put it on a paper plate for Charlie and then we're gonna go in and do it again. 
After he gets them grilled up, then I'm going to get a pretty picture of them so that I can put this on a recipe card. I mean, it's real simple, but... And there is a Southwestern Chipotle seasoning by Mrs. Dash that some people have told me to try. But I forgot to look whenever I did my grocery order the other day to see if they had it at Publix. So I'm going to try to be on the hunt for that the next time I go to the store. Because that one sounds like it would be good. There we go. Another one. Okay, and there is the last one. Here's what they look like. I'll just show you once Charlie gets through grilling them up and show you how I put it together. I'm just going to have to use one of my Olay Extreme Wellness Wraps. He just came back from Aldi and they did not have the uh, keto buns that I was wanting him to try to get for one point. And I definitely want to stay to the one point today because I am going to have some sweet potato fries and some fruit. So that's going to be my lunch. And then we're going to get in the swimming pool and float on top of our cold water today like we did yesterday. Okay, I was just going to show y'all how I make my wrap. I know I've showed it before. You know, I've probably seen it, but you just take... I'm using one of the tomato basil extreme LA wellness wraps and I've just cut it up to the middle. And then we're going to place our items here. I'm going to put some mustard and pickles here, lettuce and tomato here, and then the turkey burger will go here and then I'm going to put the cheese here, which I did not get my cheese out, but I'm just going to use some regular mustard and go here in this little corner. And then I'm just going to put three pickles on top of it. And I'm actually going to dry the pickles off a little bit. The last time that I did this, I had some pickle juice running out. <laughs> so I'm just going to dry some of that juice off of it. And then just one little slice of tomato. This lettuce is about done. Some pieces of it are turning. So there's that. I'm going to grab my cheese and then we will be ready for the burger once it comes in. And then we'll fold it up and then I'm going to toast it here in this skillet on the stove. And then I'm just going to add one slice of this ultra thin provolone cheese. I'm going to put it here. And then I will place my turkey burger there. Okay, here's the turkey burgers. Charlie just brought them in from the grill. I will let these other three cool completely. And then I'm just going to freeze those. And then I will have them over the next couple of weekends. But I'm just going to place the burger here. And let me turn my skillet on. So we are just going to fold up. And then fold over. And then fold down. And then we are going to toast it. I'm going to put the side down with the cheese and just let that toast up good. And then we'll just flip it and toast it on the other side and then I'll be back and show you my plate. Alright guys, here is my final plate. I have my sweet potato fries, a big pile of fruit, I have my yogurt to dip my fruit in, some no sugar added Heinz ketchup, and my wrap, which I did almost burn, or I did kind of burn the one side of it. I forgot about it while I was plating up the rest of my stuff, but it's still good. I will still eat it. Again, this is two points for the wrap, one point for the wrap, one point for the cheese, everything else is zero, and then four points for the serving of the sweet potato fries. So this looks yummy and delicious. I'm going to go enjoy. We're going to eat outside. sunny out here and warm so we're gonna float and try to take a nap I'll get a little bit of footage we'll see what I include in the video <laughs> I'm looking out from my window 
Sun's coming up like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door You don't have to wake up yet We can spend all day in bed I'll put the TV in the room We'll have a Netflix marathon KG saxophone We'll order in a bunch of food Hey guys, it is Monday evening. It is Memorial Day. Charlie and I pretty much had a lazy afternoon floating in the pool. I think I slept the whole time that I was on that float in the pool, just about, which I know sounds crazy. I woke up at one point when I was on my stomach and I flipped over on my back and I went right back to sleep. So anyway, I got a nap in, in the pool, which was fabulous. We're not doing our workout tonight. We're just having a chill day. Plus, it just kind of put me behind on my editing because I'm trying to edit last week's vlog so that I can have that ready to go. Tomorrow's going to be a super busy day at work, so it'll be very difficult for me to get any editing done um, at work tomorrow. But anyway, enough about that. Tonight we are having taco bowls. I have mine heating up. I'm going to grab my lettuce and stuff out of the refrigerator. Basically, I just have the turkey taco meat with the beans and the corn, and then I'm going to take some of my green leaf lettuce and, you know, pluck some off, put it in a bowl. I'm going to dump the taco meat, the beans, and the corn right on top, put some of my Chobani non pack Greek yogurt on there, some salsa, a little bit of guacamole, and some Taco Bell hot sauce, and it is delicious, and then I will have some of my baked Tostitos with it as well. So I'm going to set you up and we are going to make a taco bowl. So I'm going to use just this plastic bowl to put my taco meat in and then that way I can put it on this plate and put my chips and stuff on the side because y'all know we're going to eat in front of the couch, I mean in front of the TV on the couch. So that's what we're going to do there. And then you can just shred up however much lettuce you want. Well, I don't shred it. I just pluck it off like this. Charlie trying to walk by hand in a pants on. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> okay so that's probably enough lettuce it's a not too much it's a good little amount in there grab my bowl out of the microwave so here is my taco bowl this is two points for the taco meat because i used the frontera skillet sauce in there and the taco seasoning and stuff zero for the beans and zero for the corn on the blue plan and i literally just take it and dump it right on top just like that and then I'm going to grab my other toppings and show you how I like it. Okay, hopefully y'all can see that. Okay, uh, this is just really delicious and such an easy meal, which is one reason that we made it this week because you just really can't go wrong with it. So I'm going to use like a couple of tablespoons of my Chobani non-fat Greek yogurt in place of sour cream because by itself it tastes like sour cream and it is zero points. I'm going to rinse my spoon. I'm just going to use a spoon, the same spoon for all of the items. I'm just going to put a couple of tablespoons of the salsa on there as well, which I love this salsa. Charlie doesn't like this one. I don't know why. Why do you not like this one, Charlie? He says it doesn't taste good. It is good. It's a medium salsa, La Mexicana. I don't know. I love it. He doesn't like guacamole either, do you? He's like, no. Why don't you like it? It doesn't taste good. It doesn't mm -hmm. taste good. <laughs> he has no he has no taste. He's he's vanilla, y'all. <laughs> Are you vanilla? No. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like that. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? <laughs> <laughs> it's vanilla. In case y'all are wondering, that's the only ice cream he will eat. <laughs> You do not. You never, ever, ever eat another flavor. I like vanilla best. Anyway, I'm going to just drizzle some of the Taco Bell hot sauce. If y'all ever see this, y'all pick some up. It is hard to come by here lately, so y'all know. I usually always have a couple of bottles of that. So, I'm just going to count this as four points, and then I'm going to have probably four points worth of the baked Tostitos. I don't have the little individual bags, so... I think one serving is four points, so I will have to measure that out. So 28 grams is how much I'm going to measure out, I think. We'll see. I might want a little more. 
I might do a serving and a half. What's 28 plus 14, Charlie? Thirty-two, forty-two. That's what we'll do. We'll do forty-two grams. There. That's exactly forty-two grams. So that's a serving and a half. So that's going to be six points for that. So this will be about a ten-point dinner. We'll see if we eat it. If I can eat it all. I did not even eat close to. Half of my lunch today, y'all. I didn't eat all of the fries. I couldn't eat all of the fruit. I couldn't even eat all of the turkey burgers. So, um, I'm not sure why. Charlie couldn't eat all of his food either. I guess our eyes were definitely bigger than our stomachs today. But it was just like, are you going to use the Chobani yogurt or no? No. He said no. He won't use it as sour cream, even though it tastes like sour cream. You don't have any sour cream. Anyway. That's gonna be dinner. Let me show you my plate close up. Here is my taco bowl. It looks so yummy. Y'all definitely have to try these. I mean, they are so easy to make. So, so delicious. Charlie actually puts his in wraps. And um, maybe the next night I will do like one wrap and just do like a smaller bowl with one serving of chips or something. But anywho, I'm gonna go eat this and enjoy. Happy Tuesday guys. I just wanted to do a quick outfit of the day. This is one of the dresses that I bought last weekend. I'm just wearing these white um, sandals with it, but I think it's super cute. I did put a white tank top on under it because it's one of those that kind of crosses over just in case because I am wearing it to work. If I wasn't wearing it to work, I would not wear that because I think it looks cuter without it. But anyway, you don't want no spillage at work. So I do have a busy day today and I will be getting up and down and probably going to the printer a lot and stuff like that. So, but I think it's super cute. So, this is what we got today. We got to go. It's 10 till. I don't know if I'm going to do a car chat or not. It kind of depends on if my sister can talk. She might already be at work, but we will see. All the animals are up. I will talk to y'all later. Okay, guys, it is lunchtime. I have my sandwich here for four points. I've got a nice big bowl of fruit since we got the watermelon and stuff this weekend for Memorial Day weekend. And then I have my non-fat Greek yogurt as well and a fresh bottle of grape water. And I am importing my footage for my grocery haul weekend vlog video. Um, so, yep, yeah, that's all I've got going on today. It has been a super busy day and it's going to be all week. So I'm going to jump off here and get back to work. I will chat with y'all later, probably after I get home. I will probably be getting home late tonight. I'm not sure if we will have time to work out at all this week. So the first week of the month, I'm usually working 10, 12 hour days. So. Well, not 12 hour days because then I'd be here till 8 p.m. But it's sometimes seven ish before I get home. And then it's just too late to try to work out and get any editing done and any relaxation time and get in the bed so that I can get up at 3 30 in the morning. So, anywho, I'm going to work. I will chat with y'all later. Hey guys, so it is Tuesday evening. I literally just got home and it is 7 30. I had a super long day, an emotionally draining day for some personal stuff that was going on. So say a prayer that everything works out. I'm not going to go into it because it is a personal family matter, but it's just one of those things. And I just want everything to work out how it's supposed to. And, you know, like I said before, I'm an overthinker. I have anxiety. So my anxiety has been super high today. So today was a tough day. Plus it was the first of the month and our busiest day at work. And I literally finally just got done and I was just like, I'm frazzled. I have to go. I, I have to leave at this point. So hopefully I can get in bed early tonight. And yeah, I'm going to basically sit down and eat and chill for an hour and start my nighttime routine. I've already packed my lunch. I packed that while I was heating up my dinner, which we do have our Kung Pao chicken tonight with the pot stickers and the spring roll. I'm going to show you real quick and i probably will have some of my cookies i made the chocolate cookies this week and hopefully i can remember to uh, film that i have a very bad habit of that because lots of times charlie will get up and heat them up for me and bring them to me if i'm on the couch editing or something and then i never even think about filming the cookies so anyway possibly i will have three chocolate cookies later but let me flip you around here and show you my dinner okay here is my kung pao chicken and this is one that i do not replate just because this holds the spring roll and the two pot stickers perfectly 
under here I have some of the Asian cauliflower rice and then the chicken with the stir fry vegetables and the Kung Pao sauce. This is one point for this and I can't remember what the points are on the pot stickers and the um, spring roll, but I feel like it's three for each. So this is like gonna be a seven or eight point meal. It might be two and two and three, something like that. So um, I will uh, clarify that and put it on the screen here, how much uh, the pot stickers and the spring rolls are because I don't know where my phone is. And honestly, I'm too tired to even open up my WW app and scan the boxes and see what they are. But anywho, tomorrow will be a better day. Hopefully I will get up and get my workout in and feel good in the morning and start fresh. But gonna go eat and do a little editing and chill for a while and take some Tylenol too because my head is killing me. Okay guys, so I am gonna have three of my chocolate cookies. This is two points for these three cookies. And then Nico just wanted to say good night. Say good night, Nico. Say good night to the people. All right, guys, I will check in with y'all in the morning. Good morning, guys, and happy Wednesday. I hope that's focusing on me. It's hard to tell. It is raining and I think it's supposed to rain for the rest of the week. Not 100% sure about that. That's what Charlie said the other day, but I don't know if it's changed or not. But anyways, I'm on my way to work. Um, I'm super tired today. Yesterday, like I said last night, was a, a mentally exhausting and emotionally draining day, to say the least. And I just asked for prayers for a certain situation to work out. Obviously, however, it's supposed to work out, but um, you know, it's just something I'm trying not to worry about because it's something that I have zero control over, but that is, you know, something, part of my anxiety that I deal with, and anyway, like, I just almost felt sick last night by the time that I got home. Well, I felt sick all day yesterday, but it is what it is, and... I have zero control in the situation and so I just ask for prayers and that's all I'm gonna say about that we are gonna move on I am tired today I woke up feeling heavy and lethargic and let me tell you stress really does show up on the scale because I weighed like 143.8 this morning I was like what um so I just feel like my body yesterday just was tensed up and I don't know if I'm just holding on to fluid or what happened, but yeah, I was shocked by that number. So hopefully that will come back down as the week goes on, but it's already Wednesday since it's kind of a short work week. So we'll see what happens whenever I weigh in on Saturday. Of course, I always try to be 100% honest, 100% transparent. I mean, I didn't really overeat or anything over the weekend. We had our splurge at the chop house, but other than that that was about it and that's kind of a normal thing for us so anyway I hope you can hear me over the rain I know it's kind of loud so um, yeah today's gonna be another busy day hopefully we'll be able to be done and like get out of work by six o'clock but there's probably not gonna be any like workout footage of Charlie and me this week because it's just not going to happen. Um, it was a holiday Monday and we didn't work out. And then yesterday was a bust, a total bust. And I just kind of knew that this week would end up being this way. Um, I hate these long weeks that we have. They're just the first week of every month is always dreadful. But I'm going to go in this morning. I'm going to try not to think about things that are on my mind and focus and get my work done. Hopefully I can do that, and um, which I kind of did that yesterday for the most part until after lunch. Like I was really, you know, working and getting stuff done, um, and then it just kind of went downhill after that. So we shall see how today plays out. But I don't really have much to chat about today. I'm feeling kind of blah. I don't want to bring y'all down. I always want to be positive. You know, I guess my positive spin I can put on it is everything happens for a reason. Everything always has a way of working itself out. And I know that. 
like I've said before, I've been through lots of things in my life and, you know, all I can really do is pray about this situation and hope for the best and I'm just going to move on and we'll just wait and see what happens. And yeah, you know, it's not something that is going to make me derail on my diet or you know, just decide I'm just going to eat whatever I want to today just because I don't feel good. No, nope. I'm still doing my same thing. I got my same breakfast over here, my same sandwich, my same fruit, all of that same stuff. I know that's probably boring to y'all to see the same thing every day for lunch, but I mean, it's what I like. It's what my body is adapted to. So anytime I try to change it up, I always go right back to my sandwiches because, you know, occasionally I'm thinking, you know, I get tired of these turkey sandwiches. Let's try something different and I'll try something for a week and then I go back to several weeks of my sandwiches and, you know, it is what it is, y'all. It's me. I'm simple. I'm boring. But I'm going to jump off here and try to eat my breakfast. I'm feeling kind of hungry this morning. I did get up. I got my workout in. Even though I didn't want to get up when that alarm started going off at 3.30, I felt like I was waking from the dead. Um, but we got up and we got it done. That's what I call putting on my big girl panties. Getting up and doing stuff that you don't necessarily want to do, but things that you need to do because you have to do them. And for my mental and physical health, working out is good for me. There is something great, and I know an hour on the treadmill might seem intimidating, but I mean, you could at least do like a half hour or something if you couldn't commit to an hour. But it's nice to just, I literally, I just pick a couple of YouTube videos to watch. I love longer ones. If I can find one that's like a good 30 minutes to an hour or something that's going to keep me entertained the whole time, that's perfect. Um, but yeah, it's just great to just zone out, kind of forget about everything, focus on myself, let my body sweat, sweat out some of those toxins that built up in my body, you know, but anywho, I do think that, um, overall it does help with my mental health as well. It gives me a time to regroup. And yeah, so that's all I got for you today, guys. I'm going to sign off. I will see y'all at lunchtime. Alrighty, guys, it is lunchtime. I have my same lunch as usual for four points. My turkey sandwich with fruit and yogurt. Definitely am ready for another grape water. Um, I did drink all my greens and most of my protein coffee this morning. And my water, I don't know, I must be thirsty or something. I'm getting ready to finish up editing the weekend vlog grocery haul video um so i think i'm almost done with it i think i just really need to go in and add my music and just double check everything so i'm feeling a little bit ahead on my um editing this week so that's a good thing work has been okay this morning i've got a few things done a few things left to do but i um, moving right along so anywho that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna eat edit y'all know the drill i'm as uh, consistent as you can get, huh? I do everything literally the same pretty much every day. <laughs> okay, I will chat with y'all whenever I get home. Oh, I do have my banana and my Fiber One Brownie for snack later. I don't think I've showed that this week, but I think it's a given that I always have that um, in my lunchbox. But anywho, I'll chat with y'all later. Okay, guys, here is my dinner. So this is a taco bowl that I had the other night, but I did decide to use one of my Olay Extreme Wellness Wraps, and I just put like a little bit of the fat-free mozzarella cheese in there. So this is just one point for the wrap. It's two points for all of the turkey meat. I did not add the guac tonight, so everything else on here is zero. So that's what, one, two, three... And then four points for the chips, which this was the bottom of the bag. So it was just kind of a bunch of little broken pieces. But that's what I'm going to have for dinner. Nice little taco bow. I toasted this up in the skillet to make me like a little quesadilla. So I'm going to see how I like that. Um, but yeah, so was that a total of seven points for this meal? So I think that's pretty good. Looks pretty yummy. I will check in with y'all later. I will probably have my cookies. Let me flip you around real quick. So yeah, it was another super long day at work today. It's already seven o'clock, I think, 7.23.
So I got home about, I don't know, 6.45 or so, and we are just now getting ready to eat. And so there's definitely not gonna be any workout footage in this vlog. I apologize for that, but hopefully y'all understand. It's just one of those long, crappy work weeks, and y'all know I didn't have a good day yesterday. Today was better, I guess, overall, other than the fact that I had to work. Luna just jumped up here. She's gonna try to get my food. You wanna say hi to the vlog, Luna? She's always got such an attitude. Look, she's gonna bite me. She definitely ain't gonna get no food now. <laughs> but anywho, I'm gonna go in here and eat and I will check in with y'all later. Good morning, guys, and happy Thursday. I'm happy that this week is winding down a little bit, feeling a little bit caught up with my month end stuff. Was super, super tired this morning, so of course I'm running later. Well, I'm always late. I don't even need to make the excuse. But anyway, I wanted to show an outfit of the day, but I'm just wearing like those mint green pants and a my black and white striped top. I've worn this before, but I just did not even have an extra minute to spare to walk back to my bedroom to uh, stand in front of my mirror. So, anywho, we're in the car. We are heading to work. And... um something that i wanted to talk about that i saw on my facebook group which if you're not in my facebook group yet i highly suggest you join it it is a great group um i always let i always have the uh link to that facebook group down in the description box below and i call it my facebook group but really uh my friend roy with recipes with roy he is an admin on the group and um he helps monitor the group as well but anywho regardless of all of that um there's one of the members there and I mean she's been killing it with her workouts with her eating and sharing all this stuff and I guess she went to see her dietitian or whatever yesterday and the dietitian told her that she wasn't losing weight fast enough which really really pisses me off to be honest because number one I don't think that a dietitian should say that everyone loses weight at their own pace number two you know a dietitian or a doctor or whatever is not the holy grail and doesn't know everything and sometimes it's like a bedside manner you know some people and I'm a blunt person but I would never say to somebody you are not losing weight fast enough yeah you're doing all of these things you're doing all of this exercise you're eating right you're doing this that and the other but you still ain't good enough that makes me mad so if somebody tells you that kick them to the curb you don't need them in your life that is in my opinion something horrible to say to somebody and is unnecessary you know if you feel like they're not losing weight fast enough you know there might be other ways to say it or other ways to try to encourage them i feel like this person is doing everything that she possibly can and is doing a great job and is motivating to me the amount of exercise and work and stuff that she's been putting into herself every day and even sharing with the group so anyway let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on that thoughts have you ever had an experience like that to where you go to somebody that you really kind of look up to that you're looking to to help you and to support you and then they say something that kind of knocks the wind out of you because i've been there you know maybe not this exact situation but I've been there to where somebody that I go to for support really hurts me you know in a way and saying things like that in my opinion can truly hurt that person's progress if they really take it to heart because a lot of people could just be like well screw it I'm doing everything I can and I'm still not good enough and I used to kind of have that mentality you know I used to let what other people say or think or judge me about my weight which if you've watched my weight loss story you know it's something I've dealt with since I was a kid a little kid okay being made fun of for my weight being told that I wasn't good enough being told that I was always gonna be fat and ugly being told that I was big as the broadside of a barn you know being told just all of this stuff that's just still stuck in my head and it will always be there so anyway that's my rant for the day that's all I'm going to say about it. I'll let y'all leave your comments below. But God did it just get under my skin this morning whenever I read that. 
And I feel sorry for that dietitian's other patients. I'm just going to put it that way. If that's the way that they're doing it. But anywho, on a lighter note, we are going to go to work today. We are going to try to grind and we are going to try to knock out most of our work that we need to get done today because I don't want Friday to be a super busy day. I'm not 100% sure if I am getting my granddaughter this weekend or not because... I, I'm going to be tired. I am tired. I'm always tired the first week of the month. And bless her, I love her. But she gets up between 6 and 7 a.m. every Saturday morning. So y'all know that I'm on that early morning, 3.30, 3.45 a.m. alarm clock. And then on Saturday mornings, then I got a little kid that comes and stares at me until I wake up at uh, 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning. So that's fun <laughs> but um, I think that her parents were wanting to go to something in Nashville or something a uh, farmers market or something that's supposed to be a lot bigger than the one that we have here with some of their friends and they may take her I don't really know what the weather is gonna be like every day this week it's still been rainy and gloomy but um, I really don't have any plans for the weekend to do anything much charlie and i are basic y'all probably get tired of seeing us i eat the same thing i do the same thing i have the same routines we kind of have the same routines on saturday you know i mean i order my groceries sometimes we pick them up together lots of times charlie goes and picks them up used to we would take athena it was like a it was an outing for her because she really hasn't been anywhere in public much since the whole pandemic started i mean other than going to her daycare and coming to our house on the weekends and being at home that's pretty much the three places that she has been um which now that people are vaccinated and things are opening back up i'm hoping that that changes i mean used to we would always take her out with us on saturdays and go out to eat lunch and you know do fun stuff together even take her grocery shopping with us and stuff but I'm almost to work I will be there in like two minutes um but I love you guys don't always listen to what everybody tells you especially if it if you feel like it's going to derail you but leave me some comments below on what you think about what that dietitian said because it irks me can you tell um everybody loses weight at a different pace some people can exercise and eat all of the right things and not lose any weight but that doesn't mean that they're not getting healthier that doesn't mean that they're not losing inches i know i said i wasn't going to say anything else and here i go um but that's just my take on it i mean i've been doing weight watchers since september 2019 almost two years and i mean i've lost 72 pounds ish I went up a pound or two this week. We'll see if it comes back down. Um, I'm a slow loser. A slow loser. And it's okay. I'm not in a race with anybody. This is a lifestyle change. Um, anyway. Have a great day. I know this is like in the past. Y'all will already have had this day. But if you're watching me today, then you have a great day today whatever day you're watching this and i love you guys i'm gonna go to work now i'm making the turn okay guys it is lunchtime. i have my same sandwich fruit and yogurt dip tomorrow will be different tomorrow is friday so i will make one of my pizzas woohoo a different lunch and i am getting ready to start editing the meal prep video that will go up on sunday and i have um my grocery haul video and kind of weekend vlog that is coming out tonight won't want that open that's all i got going on i'm gonna eat I'm gonna edit i'm just now starting this video i literally don't have any clips pulled in yet i mean they're pulled in but they're not i haven't started editing anything at all gonna get busy and i will chat with y'all probably whenever i get home of course i have my banana and my fiber one brownie in there in case anybody cares okay guys i am home and just pulled my dinner out of the microwave it is hot and here is the spring row and the pot stickers and i did get them out and scan them and i was going to show you all the ones that i use that's too focused in so i like these tie i don't know how you say that but these come in at so two of the pot stickers is three points i don't know if you can see that or not we'll see if it will focus 
Two of the pot stickers is three points, and then one of these Chung's spring rolls with the sauce is three points. And I do eat the little packet of sauce that comes with it. I just like to squeeze it over the pot stickers and over the spring roll. And then the Kung Pao chicken meal itself is two points. I thought that it was one point, but it is two points. And so that is, what, six, eight points for dinner? So not too shabby. It's a lot of food, too. That is a nice hearty meal. I've got to let it cool down and then I'm going to eat. And I've already made my pizza for my lunch tomorrow. I just pulled this out of the oven and I'm going to let it completely cool before I put it on the paper plates before I pack it up for lunch. So it will just set out while I eat my dinner. And yeah, I need to get these back in the freezer. They've been sitting out for a little bit. Um, but I haven't really done anything as far as editing or anything yet. So got to get in there and get busy here is charlie he's ready to put his feet in the microwave you can go ahead that thing does make a really loud noise popping those lids off that but i still need to pack the rest of my lunch but i will do that in a little bit good morning guys and happy friday we are in the car we're on our way to work it's like five till eight um I just had to easily pull out of my driveway because we have all of these like bunny rabbits or whatever that are there we're like one of them wasn't even gonna get out of the way he wasn't even scared of my car which I wish that they would leave our yard last year they ate um, most of our garden that Charlie had planted <laughs> We were so excited to get all of these tomatoes and stuff one day and then we go out and they're gone they literally ate all of them um but anyway if y'all have any tips on how to keep rabbits and squirrels and stuff like that out of your yard let me know because they love our backyard and our front yard those were just right there in the front yard in the driveway so anywho Anywho, I don't really have a whole lot going on today. Work will be busy. I've got a couple of reports that I need to wrap up. Um, just to kind of wrap up most of the month in. It won't all be done, but the majority of it will be today. So, that is good. They just like really push us to get everything done within seven days. So, that's one reason that first week of the month just about kills all of us because we just have to do it it doesn't matter what's going on i don't know how i lose time but time just evades me i don't know what happens to it i don't know what happens to it in the mornings when i'm getting ready i always feel like i have more time than i actually have or it's like i don't know if i and i'm working constantly it's not like i'm just sitting around you know so i'm not one of those that takes a shower and then has to go sit on the bed for 15 minutes before i can do anything i mean i'm going you know I'm moving. I'm doing stuff. And obviously at a snail's pace. But I feel like I'm not. I feel like I'm... I don't know how people... I, don't, I have no idea how somebody can get ready, take a shower and get ready and get out of the house in like a half hour. I mean, it, that's just unbelievable to me. That a woman can do that. I know a man can. Like Charlie can... I can almost be done getting ready and he can literally get in the shower and get completely ready and still be waiting on me it's ridiculous it's ridiculous but I mean I do like a certain cleanliness I wash my hair every day I feel like my whole body has to be scrubbed every day you know I spend a lot of time on my teeth brushing my teeth flossing my teeth all of this stuff obviously i put my makeup on every day and there's hardly an in-between in makeup a couple of videos ago i did like minimal makeup uh or i tried to but i really wasn't happy with the way that my skin looked i just feel better having my foundation on um and putting my makeup on takes me only about 15 minutes and i can do my hair in 10 minutes it's the actual getting to that part that takes me forever the shower the cleaning my teeth and all of that stuff it takes a while and sometimes i will lose time if i start picking at my face but that's all i got for you today y'all it's friday hallelujah it's a pretty beautiful sunny day and i'm hoping for a good day 
and yeah I'm pulling into work so I shall let you go and I will check in with y'all at lunchtime per usual and if you've made it this far in the video this week I want my emoji if you leave me an emoji down below to be a butterfly I was thinking about that the other day I was thinking how pretty butterflies are so leave me a butterfly if you make it to the end love y'all talk to y'all at lunch okay guys it is lunchtime. i have my pizza today fridays i always like to bring a pizza it just makes it feel like it's closing out the week good and you know something different than my turkey sandwiches of course i've got my humongous bowl of fruit which has been quite satisfying this week to eat and my yogurt and of course a grape water there and of course i am getting my computer open and getting ready to hopefully make some headway on the meal prep video that is going up on sunday that's all that i have left to edit for this week um so i'm hoping to kind of get it all pulled together at least by tonight but i'm kind of halfway through it i'm i've actually kind of been a little bit ahead of the editing game this week so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna eat i will check in with y'all later of course i have my typical banana which is looking a little overripe but i think it's still pretty good um, but I prefer them without any brown spots, but when you buy them for the week, they turn almost immediately. And Charlie did pick those out, and they were super green when he got them at Sam's Club. But I'm going to eat, and I will check in with y'all when I get home. Okay, guys, here is my last meal for the week, my taco bowl. And I did go ahead and do another one of the kind of quesadillas out of part of the mixture and just made a smaller salad and then i have one serving of my baked tostitos to eat that with and i highly suggest this this is delicious i really like this toasting this up i guess where i'm been making my little wraps with my sandwich or my turkey burgers and stuff on saturdays i decided i would just do that real quick it doesn't take but just a minute to toast it i don't even put any oil or anything in the skillet i just dry toast it in the skillet and flip it over and it comes out perfect. I did add just a little bit of cheese in there, which is zero points. It is the fat-free um, mozzarella. So I think overall the whole meal is four points for the chips, one point for the wrap, and then for the turkey meat, it is two points. So what is that, eight points? I think that's what both of my dinners came out to be this week was eight points per um, dinner. So anyway, I'm going to go in here and eat this and um, it is Friday night. So I'm going to flip you around here and close this vlog out real quick. Okay guys, thank you so much for joining me for another weekly vlog. I hope that you enjoyed it. Sorry we didn't get any like workout footage this week, but y'all know this was my long week at work and I'm glad that it is over with. It was kind of a rough week emotionally at the beginning of the week. I really don't know how my weigh-in's going to go tomorrow because my weight kind of went up. It's like whenever my whole body gets stressed like that, it just kind of holds on to it. I don't know why, but you know, I'm relaxing. I'm feeling a little bit better and it's all good. I did not get my granddaughter tonight, which I do miss her. I feel... I don't know a little depressed without her here but we do need a little bit of a break and so hopefully we can rest this weekend and get a little bit caught up on some things because when she's here i mean it's all about her you know everything revolves around her and of course we dote on her and wait on her hand and foot basically if you haven't already hit that subscribe button down below like this video share this video if you think it was something that somebody else would like and follow me on instagram I will leave my Instagram handle for you here again and also join that Facebook group. There is a link down in the description box below. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.